In this video, we're going to try and find the indefinite integral of this. So, um, so to find the indefinite integral of this here, we have to find something that when you differentiate it, it will give you this thing here. So you, you could try, uh, you could try and visualize this thing here as, uh, as something over, over this thing here, over this thing here, uh, to the, uh, over this thing here, well this thing here, you, you could try and visualize it, you, you could try and visualize this as this, but then this can be written as something to the power of minus a half, because, um, yeah, so, so this thing here can be written as something to the minus a half, so you have to think of something that when you differentiate it, will give you something similar to this, you could try, you could try, um, you could try uh, something to the power of positive a half, so hang on. So to uh, to to try and find the to try and find the indefinite integral of this, you could try this. Hang on, you could try this. But the thing is, um, because at the moment you you would visualize this as something over over this thing here to the power of a half. But then this this thing here can can be uh, written as something to the power of minus a half. So this here, you could try and guess this. Um, you, you you could you you could try and guess this, but the thing is, when you differentiate this here, it will give you this whole thing here, okay, and then uh, and then and then uh, uh, and then tidy this up. So this this block here becomes this block here. This half here is this half here, and blah blah blah. And then it will give you it will give you this. You, you see, you could you could reason that um, that you, your your first guess could be this, but the thing is, if your first guess is this, it will give you it will give you this thing here. But you don't want this x here. This uh, this up here is a constant. So so this this here is a bad guess. It could be it could be a reasonable guess, but it is a bad guess because you've got this x hanging around here. You don't want the x here. You just want you just want the two. Well, another guess would be, hang on, another guess would be, well, you've got, currently you've got something uh, over over this thing here. Well, you could guess, well, well you, you want something that when you differentiate it, it will give you this. Well, you could guess, how about the natural log of this thing here, where, well, you see, when you differentiate this thing here, you will get 1 over this thing here. Well, if you put the square root into here, uh, and then you will get this uh, square root one minus x squared here, which is uh, which is very very similar to this. But the thing is, you got to times with the um, with the derivative. Or w w when you differentiate this here, um, hang on, let, let's start again. If, if you if you guess this, when you differentiate this, it will be this one over the bubble. But then you got to times with the derivative of the bubble itself. So hang on. So your guess could be this. Uh, your guess could be could be this. Your guess could be this. But the thing is, if you differentiate this, it will give you it will give you this thing here. But then you've got to times with the derivative of the bubble itself, which will be something very complicated up here. And then it gets multiplied to the top. But the the thing is, what's at the top should be a constant. It should um, it should be a constant here. This thing here, you're going to have something very complicated in here. You see. Uh, the the natural log of the bubble would be a bad guess, um, and 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 then this here would also be a bad guess. So when you come to um, when you come to try and find the the indefinite integral of this, keep an eye out for for these two. Keep an eye out for these two here. Okay. So so keep an eye out on something of this of this form or something of this form, because if something is of this form here. Then, because if you look at this here, this is this is uh, some. You see, this is in a in a uh, in a way very similar to this. So keep an eye out for something in this form, because if it's in this form here, then your guess should be this. Because when you differentiate this, it will give you this. Uh, and then also, also um, when when you try and uh, also keep an eye out for something of this form here, because when you try and differentiate this here, it will give you this. Okay, so we've done this before. Um, to to differentiate this, it will give you this. I'm just going to run it run it through. We've done it before. So if you don't understand what I'm about to tell you, then then track track down one of the early videos. Um, so when you come to do the uh, 
when you try and when you come to try and find the indefinite integral of this, keep an eye out on on something of this form here. Okay, so hang on, I'm just going to run through this because so when you see something like this, guess, make this to be your guess. Okay, so so now I'm going to show you uh, this. So hang on. So when you try and when you try and differentiate uh, sine the inverse sine of kx, which which is what I'm showing you here. Okay, when you when you try and differentiate this here, so when you try and differentiate this here, it will give you so it's blah 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 here. I've done done all this before. Okay, blah blah blah. blah. So when when you um when you when you try and differentiate this, it will give you this. Okay. Now now um now when you try and differentiate tan the inverse tan of of this thing here, it will give you so it's blah blah blah. blah done all this before so you if you don't understand it track down one of the early videos so when when you um when you when you differentiate the inverse tan of uh, of kx then it will give you this thing here okay so so when you uh if you want to find the indefinite integral of this re remember try and ingrain these uh these inside your mind so so this here is of the form of this we, we we will take care of this too later on. So anyway, we should be you. Our, our first guess should be the inverse uh, inverse sine of k, of kx. But in this case, our k is one. So because our k here is one, because the coefficient here is is one. So um so looking at this, looking at this. Hang on. So looking at this here, this here should be our first guess. This this should be our first guess, our initial guess. So make this to be our first guess. So when you come to to do this here, re realize that this is uh, is of is of that this is of this form here. So you should make this your first guess. You should make this your first guess. So our first guess would be this. Okay. In this case, k will be one. So so this is our first guess. Differentiate it. It will give you this. But then the thing is, you um well hang on. uh hang on hang on yeah. So hang on. Uh, real, so 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 this is our first guess here. This is our first guess. Differentiate it; it will give you this. But then you um, you've got a two up here. You see, now, when you when you make this your your guess, differentiate it; it will give you this. But now make the adjustment. The adjustment being, well, you want the two here. You want really. You want you want this um, this two here. So adjust it. Uh, uh, so so your adjustment should be this here. So overall, the answer would be this. Uh, overall, the answer would be this. Okay? So this here would be your overall answer.